So these enzymes are normally present. Uh, as we have uh, discussed earlier, there are certain enzymes which act as uh, blockers of reactions. There are also enzymes which act as diagnostic tool. They have some diagnostic importance too. The reason being, a large number of enzymes are synthesized in the cell. They are continuously released into circulation in small amounts as a result of normal wear and tear of cells. They are removed from circulation by degradation or excretion. So these enzymes are normally present in circulation in minute concentrations. The circulating enzymes may be divided into two groups. First being functional plasma enzymes or plasma specific enzymes. Non-functional plasma enzymes or non-plasma specific enzymes. The first group is of functional plasma enzymes or plasma specific enzymes. These enzymes are part purposely secreted into the circulation to perform specific catalytic functions. These include lipoprotein lipase, blood coagulation factors, complement of proteins. Non-functional non plasma enzymes, these enzymes do not perform their catalytic function in plasma. And these, uh, these are intercellular enzymes which either which enter the circulation when the cell is cell in which they are synthesized get disintegrated. So when breakdown of cells is occurring at normal rate, these enzymes are present in plasma in very low concentrations. In the, if the rate of destruction of cells increases due to some pathological condition, these enzymes will be released into circulation in large amounts and their concentration in plasma will rise many times above normal. If enzymes have a selective tissue distribution or if it is present in far higher concentrations in some tissues, then elsewhere in the body, it can pinpoint the site of disease. And this is, uh, it is uh, the non-functional plasma enzymes having a selective tissue distribution, which can provide information of diagnostic importance. These are some uh, enzymes which have become established diagnostic tools in recent times. The first being lactate dehydrogenase or LDH, transaminase or GOT and GPT, creatinine kinase or CK, gamma glutamyl transpeptidase or GGT, alkaline phosphatase or ALP, acid phosphatases or ACPs, amylase, lipase and celluloplasm. We first discuss lactate dehydrogenase. This enzyme catalyzes the interconversion of pyruvate and lactate. Its tissue distribution is very wide and however, its concentration is much higher in myocardium, muscles and liver than in other tissues. Therefore, plasma LDH rises in myocardial infarction, viral hepatitis and muscle injuries. In myocardial infarction or MI, the rise begins 24 hours after the episode of infarction. The peak value is reached in about three days and the level returns to normal in about a week. Transaminases, these two most uh, important transaminases are glutamyl oxaloacetate transaminase or GOT and glutamate pyruvate transaminase or GPT. These are also known as aspartate aminotransferases and alanine aminotransferases respectively. They are present in high concentration in myocardium, liver, and muscles. Their plasma levels are raised in myocardial infection, viral hepatitis, and muscle injuries. Concentration of GOT is higher than that of GPT in myocardium while the situation is reversed in liver. Therefore, the rise in plasma GOT is more pronounced in myocardial infections then in GTP in more pronounced in viral hepatitis. <clears throat> the next one is creatinine kinase or creatine kinase I'm sorry. It is also known as creatine phosphokinase or CPK and catalyzes the reaction of creatinine plus ATP to creatinine plus ADP. 
CK is present in myocardium, muscles, and brain. Plasma CK rises in myocardial infection, myopathies, and muscle injuries. Plasma creatinine, creatine kinase is a more specific and early indicator of MI than LDH and uh, GOT. It begins to rise within three to six hours of occurrence of infarction and reaches its peak in 24 hours and returns to normal in three days. As you can see a graph here where the enzyme level and number of days for MI are plotted here. You can see creatinine kinase rises in three to six hours of infarction. GOT takes nearly six to 12 hours of infarction and LDH is risen only after one day has been passed through infarction. So non-enzymatic markers of myocardial infections, apart from LDH, GOT, and CK, some other non-enzyme proteins are also released from myocardium after myocardial infarction, and they are useful in diagnosis. These being myoglobin, which begins to rise at one to three hours, reaches its peak in four to six hours, return to normal in 18 to 24 hours, with its specificity being low. Then there is cardiac, cardiac troponin T, which rises in, begins to rise in four to six hours, it reaches its peak in 18 to 36 hours, returns to normal in five to 15 days, and specificity again being low. Cardiac troponin I is a protein. It begins to rise in four to six hours, reaches its peak in 12 to 24 hours, returns to normal in five to 10 days with specificity being very high. The more the specificity of these non-proteinous, non-enzymatic basically, non-enzymatic, these are all protein basically, non-enzyme markers of cardiac infarction. The next one is GGT. This enzyme catalyzes the transfer of gamma glutamyl residues of glutathione to other substrate. Its plasma level increases in most of the liver diseases and is an early indicator of alcoholic hepatitis. Alkaline phosphatases or ALP. This is a group of enzyme that hydrolyzes organic phosphatases, esters at an alkaline pH. ALP is released in circulation mainly from bones and liver. Smaller amount come from intestine and placenta. Liver excretes ALP in bile. The maximum elevation of plasma ALP occurs in obstructive jaundice. Smaller elevations occur in viral hepatitis, tickets, hyperparathyroidism, osteosarcoma, and bony metastasis. Next one is acid phosphatases, ACP. This enzyme hydrolyzes organic phosphatase, esters of acidic pH. The main source of ACP is prostate gland. Plasma ACP is elevated in metastatic carcinoma of the prostate. Next one is amylase. It is a digestive enzyme synthesized in pancreas and parotid gland. Sharp elevation of plasma amylase occurs in acute pancreatitis. A smaller elevation occurs in acute parotitis. Lipases, these are lipolytic enzymes released in circulation from pancreas. Plasma lipase rises in acute pancreatitis. Ceruloplasmin, this is a uh, copper containing protein having peroxidase activity. It is present. It is absent or greatly decreased in plasma in inherited disorders such as Wilson's, which is also known as hepatolenticular degeneration. Now moving to next topic, which is of isoenzymes. Some enzymes exist in multiple molecular forms, which catalyzes the same reaction but differ slightly from each other in physical, chemical, or immunological properties. 
these multiple forms of enzymes are known as isoenzymes or isozymes isozymes possess quaternary structures and are made up of two or more different subunits the subunits have slightly different primary structure the isozymes can be separated from each other by electrophoretic chromatographic or immunochemical techniques separation and quantitation of isozymes can give information of great diagnostic importance as the tissue distribution of isoenzyme is quite specific several enzyme exhibit so several enzyme exit in form of isoenzymes the following have been found to be particular of diagnostic importance lactate dehydrogenase or ldh creatinine kinase creatine kinase or ck and alkaline phosphatase the first being lactate dehydrogenase lactate dehydrogenase was the first enzyme shown to exist in the form of five isozymes by marcret in 1956 enzyme is a tetramer which is made up of two types of subunit h and m the uh, h and m units have been shown here and these subunits can form five different tetramers triple h you can see here four times h or ld1 and ldh1 three times h and one m is equal to ldh or ldh2 and so on we can see here this is the ldh1 form where all the tetrameric units are of h form leading to one of one form m form then 2m and 2h then 3m and 1h and then four m forms the ld isomer isozyme in plasma can be separated by electrophoresis the normal pattern of ld enzyme is this l2 ld2 ld1 ld3 ld4 and ld5 the predominant isozyme in mitocardium is ld1 and ld2 in myocardial infarction the rise of ld1 is greater than that of ld2 therefore plasma ld pattern becomes this and the predominant enzyme in liver is ld5 which is raised in viral hepatitis we can see here creatinine kinase creatinine kinase is a dimer which is made up of two units b and m there are three different dimers of uh, isoenzyme creatinine kinase bv form or ck1 form mb form or ck2 form mm form or ck3 form the major isoenzyme found in myocardium is ckmb ckmb is normally less than 3% of the total serum ck and it is commonly measured by immuno inhibition serum is treated with ntm sub subunit antibody ckmm is inhibited and the residual enzyme is taken to be ckmb as ckbb is negligible ckmb is raised in mi next one is alkaline phosphatase bone liver intestine and placenta form different isozyme of alp which can be separated by electrophoresis these bone isozymes is raised in plasma in bone diseases and the liver isozyme is raised in liver diseases all metabolic pathways operating in all organism must be precisely regulated so these so that there is neither a deficiency of products of the pathways nor wastage of raw material as the requirement of the organism keep on changing all the time the regulatory mechanism must be responsive to these changes enzyme play a crucial role in regulatory mechanisms the metabolic pathways are regulated either by changing the concentration of enzyme or by altering the catalytic activity of the enzyme the regulation involves one or a few key enzymes and pathway a key enzyme also known as regulatory enzyme may catalyze the rate limiting step in the pathway or the committed step in the pathway a rate limiting step is an early reaction in the pathway which controls the availability of substrate for the subsequent reactions the committed step is the earliest irreversible irreversible reaction unique in the pathway